Today we're going to be doing some pier fishing for some sheep's head, whiting, whatever biting. Most time for sheep's head, this is the rig we normally use, a Carolina rig, which is the weight on the main line, a leader and a small hook. And this is usually the best bait at the pier for sheep's head, sand fleas. Fiddle crab works well too. Very simple setup. You can get this bait right on the um, surf. And this is how I hook it up. I usually use two. Make sure they're on there proper. And just drop it right by the pilings. And then fish on. Check it out, Ray. Ray. Hey, maybe some of my expert fishing friends can tell me which family of ray this is. Look in front of you. They're feeding on those fine fish probably. Looking at manta rays and catching sheep set. Check out the rays way out there. We got a nice sheep set. You gotta be careful with the sheep set. See the teeth? Let's measure them up and see. It's got to be 12 inches. It's over 12. See the designer, sheep's head. Let's put them in the cooler. Look at these small manta rays here, look at them. See if you see any cobia running behind them. We worrying about cobia, we worrying about cobia and ray already hooked up. We worrying about, look, we worrying about ray over there and look what ray over here have. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We good now. Where my ray gun? <laughs> oh, look at next one. Look at next one. Look at next one here. Yeah, yeah. We got a ray over there. And we got a ray over here. Oh shit! Clear, 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 right then. Clear, clear, clear. No, clear, clear wrong this side. Yeah, you good. Yeah. All right. There we go. <clears throat> Boy, they say Vlad is like a good luck charm, boy. Yes. Sir. Got him out? You want to bring him up because I know the hook will straighten up. That's the original handliner. Yes, sir. Hold him up, hold him up. Let me get a nice shot today, there, man. Your body got a nice sheep's head. What bait are you using, Ray? Sand flea. There we go. Yes, sir. All right. Let me see what the handliner have. Nice drum. You going to bring him up? This net does bring up a thousand fish at this pier, and this will be the thousand and one. There we go. One thousand and one fish. This nice tortadala net bring up. Fish at the pier, don't come without this net. Yes. Get it out. Lose some out force. Lose some out force, and it cuts it wrap around. Yeah. Nice fish. Mm. Black drum. Those are the good eating size too. Yeah. 14 inches, 15 inches. See how he fishes? Old school. Oh, 
so, oh. so he feels it in his hand, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. And you just use the net, huh? Yeah, it, you know, just in case it wasn't hooked properly. Yeah. yeah. And he fishes with a very small hook too. Very yeah. nice. Yeah. All right. How's the waves? That's a guy for the big from the Matanz with a big redfish. Anyone can catch fish, you know. It's a nice spot one too. Unbelievable. Yeah. Look at him. All right, you gotta go back. That's a stone crab. A stone, yeah. You gotta pliers and take him off because he's got my hook right on the side. A good arm kick, you know. Claws. All right. Come on, buddy. All right, here. There we go. Get it. All right. I don't want it to cut. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's around the bucket. Yes, yes. That's why I was taking my time with him there too. He's tied up somewhere on the line. Yeah, now he's got a. Oops. He's gonna go over. Oh, come on, take a bite for the pier, man. Yeah, he was wrapped. Okay, there we go. Alright, get this out of the way. Yeah, no, 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 no. I wasn't gonna keep him in any case. No. No, no, no. Yeah. Shucks, like that one is broken. Is it? Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, take a bite for the pier. Take a bite for the pier. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Come on, walk over. Push it, push it, mommy. You won't bite tourist shoes, I'm sure. Yeah. You see him? Look right under, look right under. Oh. I'm just seeing him going away that way. <laughs> These whitings are loving shrimp. I got a container of dead shrimp. So I'm gonna peel it and put it on and this is just what they love. Check out how this one's small and nice now. What are you looking for? Huh? Look, Kush got, look, Kush have a whole set. You want some from Kush? Small one like these. You want him? Lots of lots of bites. The thing is, put on a regular size. Wanna put on two? Um, put on two. Look, I just had two on the cover there. You know, I just had two on the cover. Gotta keep it with them. Hey, I need some sand flea there, Olan. Only whitings I get in there. Okay. Just, just bring something there. Adrian said he got big sheep at the end. Let's be gone for there. Okay. Yeah, that's good, that's good. Okay, I got some sand please. I'm gonna use this for the whiting. Adrian is using fiddler crabs. But that's how we deal with the pier. Sometimes somebody go down 
and get the bait. Some go catch a mullet. I'm gonna put leave this piece of shrimp on and I'm gonna add a sand flea. That's what they're feeding on too. I'm gonna put on some live shrimp also. Because I know there's usually trout running close to the shoreline. So for my hookup with the shrimp, I just hook it by the back. Just behind the tail. And see how it sits in the water. That's what I'm looking for for it to jump. And when it jumps, usually the trout or red will just grab it from the front. Alright, let's set this out there and see what happens. Oh boy, what's this? It feels heavier. It doesn't feel like whiting. It's running coming in too. Oh, it's a trout. Oh, it's not a keeper. It's a small one. I would not even measure this. I mean, it's small. Barely hooked. Barely, barely hooked. But the belly is fat like you're feeding on those small mullet along the shoreline too pretty fish pretty pretty fish look at it go back check out how the birds are trying to get my bait it's covered so they can't get inside of it but look at it one in the ground and this one here too hey Come back here. I got a baby pompon on. Hey, don't forget to hit that subscribe button because when this pompon season comes around in a few weeks, we are going to be hooking up some really big ones. So go ahead, hit that subscribe button, turn on the post notification, drop me a comment, all the nice good stuff. I fish this beer so long, and I still do not know what we call this fish. Someone drop me a comment down below and let me know what this is. Look at him, he's eyeing up my sand fleas in that bucket here. If I only turn my back, he's gonna jump on the bucket cover. Alright, let's see what's biting again. Alright, that's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you in my next one coming up soon. Probably going to be a nice cooking one.